Our gardens can be really handy extensions of the home. They can be used as laundry rooms, playrooms, or even for alfresco dining. Now, something I've seen a million times is when you're renovating the inside, the outside becomes a builder's yard. That can be a big mistake. And this is the case for Londoners Claire and Gerard Healy. They were halfway through major renovations to their home when problems with their contractor put the work to a complete stop, leaving a lack of funds, the house unfinished and the garden as a building site. Now the garden's clear, it's much easier to see how the design's going to work. Now Claire and Gerard had this platform built outside the kitchen, which to be honest is looking pretty shabby. So we're going to deck it and put a nice handrail at the front, which is going to make it a nice feature of the garden. Down here, we're going to have quite a decent sized lawn. Now they've got three children, so that's going to give them lots of space to run around and play. Now the main feature in this garden is going to be up here at the back. We're going to put a seating area, which is basically going to be a contemporary take on an old fashioned classic, the pergola. The decking is the first thing to go down. We're fortunate that the viewing platform is level and sturdy, which makes laying the decking a lot quicker and easier. Perfect when time is of the essence. Claire was really keen to make this platform safe for baby William. Now you step straight out of the kitchen onto a brand new deck. Now what it needs is a really stylish balustrade around the outside. So when she looks out from the kitchen, she can see straight in to her brand new garden. This handrail is pretty easy to install. We've ordered the rail to the exact size we need, so we just have to slot and screw it into place. To stop any topples from the little ones, we're adding this toughened glass, which is extremely durable but looks sleek and modern and will allow plenty of light to flood through too. As promised, we're recycling what we can in the garden, so we're using breeze blocks to make a mini raised bed and scaffold planks to make a vegetable patch for the kids. Although the garden is really taking shape, there are a few finishing touches. Bark chip goes down near the treehouse and lawn as a soft cushion for any tumbles. The children are lucky enough to live next door to a playground so Claire and Gerard can get more adult space with these seating areas. Tall bamboos go in which create height and these are really easy for the family to look after too. I'm here in our recycled vegetable plot. We've used the old scaffold boards to raise the level of the soil up. We've got this fantastic old butler sink and we've got them some vegetables for them to grow. We've got some tomatoes, some peppers and loads of fantastic herbs. Now I'm not going to plant them, we're going to get the kids to do it. I've got just the tools. It's been a lot of hard graft, but what a difference 48 hours can make. With everything in place, it was time for the family to return and give us their verdict. Keep your eyes shut. Hey. You ready to see your new garden? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Open your eyes. Blimey. Oh, my God. <laughs> This is incredible. You guys. This is absolutely incredible. I mean, I thought of somewhere for us to sit and have a glass of wine, but I always assumed we would just be up here and the garden would be the children's. And now it's, you know, it's something for us as well. It's yeah, brilliant. Absolutely. It's absolutely brilliant. One more question before I go. Yep. Do you still hate your garden? No. No way. We love it. Absolutely love it. What do you think? Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> For the first time since they've lived here, all the family are getting to enjoy the new space. Claire no longer has to worry about the children outside and she and Gerard have a gorgeous grown-up space to relax in too. It's gone from a building site to a beautiful site and this is one family who now love their garden.